So what are isomers? In this video, we're going to define together isomers and we're going to look some, at some examples of isomers. So let's begin with the definition. So what are isomers? Isomers are basically compounds, CPDs for simplicity, that have the same, that have the same formula, but different structure and what we mean by formula is that they have the same number of carbons the same number of hydrogens so let's look at an example of isomers well here we have butane and dimethylpropane and we're gonna draw that and we're gonna see how the isomer is formed so butane here we notice from the word as we explained before but is four carbons and a means it's an alkane so they're all single bonds and it's demonstrated with the structure right here so what if we swap this group right here which has one carbon and three hydrogens and we put it instead of this hydrogen right there so what happens well, what happens is the following. Let's draw it together. So now we're going to have in the backbone of the compound three carbons. So one, two, and three. Now in the middle, we're going to have the carbon group, which has three hydrogens. So here, three hydrogens. And we're going to swap. So here's the hydrogen that we swapped. And we're going to continue with the rest of the hydrogens. Now, why did we call it dimethylpropane? Let's analyze this together. Now, let me clear this. So yeah. Now, let's see. So this is the first carbon, this is the second carbon, and this is the third carbon. We have three carbons in the backbone. That's why it's called propane, and it's an alkane, it's still an alkane. But let's see this group that we swapped. It has the formula CH3, right? So one carbon, three hydrogens. And we said before, an alkyl group is a group that has one hydrogen less than the alkane. So the alkane of this is CH4, which is methane. And then we subtracted one hydrogen. So it becomes CH3, which is methyl. And this is why we called it methyl. Now you're going to ask yourself this, why is the two right there? It's because this methyl is located in the second carbon so let's go over this one more time i know this is the first time you're hearing this or maybe the second time i know it can be confusing don't panic just listen to me carefully now we said how do we name the isomer now we said here we removed this group one carbon three hydrogen so it's ch3 right there and we swapped it with this hydrogen so what happens is the compound that we form is totally different than the, the butane. Now we have a new compound. How do we name it? Well, we see here we numbered our, our carbons. We have our first carbon, the second carbon, and the third carbon. That means we have three carbons in the backbone of the compound. That's why it's called propane. It's a still an alkane because it has single bonds. So it's propane plus something else, which is the methyl group here, which we said it's a CH3. Now this CH3, the methyl group is located on the second carbon. That's why we say 2-methylpropane or you can say dimethylpropane. Now we said isomers have the same formula so that means it has the same number of carbons, the same number of hydrogens, but different structure. Now, because of this different structure, some physical properties may change. For example, the boiling point. Now, let's see this. Butane has a boiling point of 0 degrees Celsius, while dimethylpropane has a boiling point of a negative 10 degrees Celsius. Well, you see this obvious difference right here. And this is because, let's write a conclusion. Well, here, let's scroll to the right. 
and write our conclusion. And this is because the chain in boiling point is because branched isomers have a lower boiling point and this is because the attraction between them is less strong and therefore less heat less heat is needed to overcome it see here the dimethyl is a branched isomer because the methyl group is not on the backbone it's actually a branch but here the butane all the carbons are on one line one backbone so therefore they have a higher boiling point so that's it for isomers i hope this video have cleared things for you have made it easier for you to recognize isomers and even draw them yourself try practicing for example with ethane maybe ethane has two carbons if you want to remove it well try that i don't know what you're gonna come up with try it with um, propane and see what you're gonna get also so keep on practicing with isomers to help you recognize them much faster and i hope you would be successful with that so stay tuned for the next video we're gonna talk about the physical properties of alkanes and good luck